Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this error um, I've been getting with Apache. So pretty much, I'm getting this AH01071, got error, unable to open primary script, and it's linked to my Moodle site, I'm getting permission denied. And I've been here for the last while, I've been trying to change permissions, and I can't get past this error. So how this looks, no matter where I try to um, load my website from, I'm getting this um, this permission denied error. So it took me a while to figure out what this is, and it's actually it is uh, SE Linux that's causing the issue. So if I want to temporarily change this and disable SE Linux, I type in set and force uh, zero. I press return. Oh, and let me just put sudo in front of this. Okay, and then let's see if I w get my local host now. Perfect. You can see it works. I'm no, no longer getting the error. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disable SC Linux permanently to ensure I don't get this error when I um, when I screw up. So to do so, I'm going to go by SC and let me just put sudo in here as well. And I want to go to SC Linux. Cool. And I am going to press I to go into insert mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this from forcing and I want to change it to disabled. So let me just come over here. And let me change this to disabled. And what I'll do is I'll do escape colon wq space mark for write and quit. And let me just double check that as taken. And it has. And now that means that um, I'll always be able to get to that PHP. There are more advanced rules for SE Linux that you can do to enable certain aspects to be ignored. But for me, disabling SE Linux in its entirety is fine and it will get you around this error. So I, I do hope that was helpful. And if it was, please do like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.